Hello, this is Scott from Mito Red Light. We are filming live here on Monday, March 8th, 2021, here at glamorous Mito Red Light headquarters. Uh, we're here to do uh, some demonstrations for you today, some measurements. Uh, so the impetus for today's video is that we had a competitor post some measurements on a Mito Mod 900, which is one of our most popular lights, with this meter, this is a 10 Mars TM206 solar meter, and they claimed that, that the measurements at six inches were 103 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So are those measurements accurate? Let's find out. So uh, some quick uh, clarifications before we start. So this meter actually measures in watts per meter squared. Uh, and to convert to uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared, you just need to move the decimal over one time. So if it says 1,000, then it's actually 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So I'll be doing that conversion live, but if you're confused, I want to get that out of the way, Richard, up front. Okay, so let's do some measurements. So we have the Mitomon 900, so this is going to get very bright. We've got two switches here, one for red, one for near infrared. So we're going to go ahead and turn both on for accurate measurements. And let's see what we come up with here. Let's go down into the middle of the light, and we'll see that we get... Not 103, but more of 143, 144-ish. Uh, well, 145, 146. Is that coming up clear on the camera as far as you can tell? 146 or so. Okay, not 103. Interesting. So uh, just to be clear that there's nothing super special about this light, we'll go ahead and measure this light over here. Again, two switches, near infrared, which is actually invisible, and red. So let's see what we get here. Okay, about six inches. Let's come down to the middle of the light. And uh, pretty consistent. Oh, 147. 147, 148 milliwatts per centimeter squared at six inches. 146, 148. So not quite 103. It's interesting. So, just to be clear and super clear that there's nothing super special about this meter, as you can see we have quite a few of these 10 Mars TM206 solar power meters. They're quite inexpensive. I buy them by the bucket full. So let's try another meter and see what we get. Let's start off with this light. You hear the fans kick on. Do this rather quickly. Let's see what we got here. This one, well, oh, well, we're going over 150 now. 151. 145. Yeah, I'd say, well, we're able to get over 150. 151-ish. Even higher. Okay. Let's try this light just to really kind of hammer the point home. Turn them on. Again, we've engaged red and near infrared. Near infrared being invisible. And I keep saying that for a reason. Okay, well, come over here. Let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, I thought I saw 157, 158. Breaking records here. 159. Am I going to get to 159? 156. Pretty high. Clearly, significantly higher than 103, which again, uh, very specifically, unfortunately in this article, the claim was that this Mito Mod 900 was measured at six inches with this meter and resulted in 103. So I think that we've proven conclusively that that is a false statement. So again, um, measured anywhere between 146 and 157 or so. So 50% higher. Uh, we've measured multiple lights with multiple meters. So again, I, I believe we've demonstrated conclusively that 103 is false and inaccurate. So what I would modestly ask is if that company would remove those false statements from their website, that would be fantastic. So uh, perhaps it was an honest mistake. Now, so you may be saying, Scott, that's fantastic. I mean, this, you shot this completely unedited continuous video to demonstrate the true measurements with this meter. How is it that, you know, we're seeing 
potentially videos or, or photographs that are showing different measurements. So for instance, there is a video on YouTube circulating where somebody claims to have purchased the Mitro Pro 1500, disassembled it, hastily reassembled it, measured the light, and claims it only measured 50 at 6 inches. Now, if you're familiar with our product line, the Mitro Pro 1500 is bigger than this light. So measuring 50 milliwatts per meter squared at 6 inches on a Mitro Pro 1500 is completely absurd. And they use the same meter, by the way. So how is that possible, Scott? Do you have an explanation for that? As a matter of fact, I do. So what is the most likely scenario? Now, my best guess would be that the individual took the measurements with the red light only. So as you see here, this is, I've, you heard the fan, fan kick on, measuring just the near infrared. I mean, we get 80, 90. We add the red back in, we get the 140 or 150. But now, if we very subtly shut the near infrared off, can you tell that the near infrared is off? You can't. But then if you measure, you see, interestingly, you get around 50 milliwatts per meter squared with the near infrared off and that would make sense again half of the lights are off most likely what the scenario is in that anonymous video that was posted on YouTube okay Scott so you may say well what about the images in the article that show that I mean it appears to be that there's a Mito Mod 900 and six inches away there is a TM206 meter, and on the meter it shows 103 milliwatts per centimeter squared. How can that be? Do you have an explanation for that? As a matter of fact, I do. So if you look at this meter, you'll see that there's a sensor, right there, this little white circle. So if anything is even remotely blocking that sensor, it's going to reduce the amount of light energy that gets into the sensor. It's going to reduce the reading. So for instance, if we were going to come back over here and take a measurement on this light, Again, we'll measure around 150 or so. We've done this multiple times by now. Now we're going to measure, you know, 146, 146 or so. Fine. Okay, now watch, interestingly, what happens here. Now let's say I go back here like this. Now I'm measuring 146. And I slide this over just a bit. Now look at that. Look at how that goes down. I've got the meter right on top of the thing, and it goes down to 106 or so, 105. Why? Because this is blocking the light energy reaching the sensor. Now, I hate to be blunt, but you have to be completely clueless to think that that's a proper way to take a reading. So, you know, perhaps it was an honest mistake, but again, we've demonstrated here that the correct readings are some with this meter and this light multiple times multiple lights multiple meters is somewhere in the order of 150 milliwatts per centimeter squared 50 percent higher than what was stated in this erroneous article so anyways we hope you found that helpful we're trying to demystify light therapy it's actually not that complicated we actually did publish independent testing results on the Mito Mai 900 at six inches in 10 minutes, it generates 47,320 joules. And you can use that information, which is professional diagnostic information, to guide you in, in how you should do your dosage. In any event, we hope you find that useful. If you have any questions, email us, info at mitoredlight.com, or give me a call, 480-597-4649. Thanks for watching.